welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Jill, and today it's just been, you know, vehicle recall day. I will link the video of the Bronco, if you're interested, down below or at the end of this. Either way, look down below in the, the description box or at the end of this entire video, and you'll see it there. The Bronco Sport has three recalls. One of them you guys may have already been aware of and I wasn't because I don't have a moonroof. I never get the letter. So um, let's start off with the rear braking. 2021 and 2022 Bronco Sport models are being recalled for incorrectly manufactured rear brake lines. Now what that means is the brake lines on the rear part of your vehicle can degrade quickly or quicker than normal. Now the vehicle will still be able to stop, but you may find yourself applying more pressure to the brake pedal than normal. So I would contact your local dealership and see if that is one of your vehicles that are affected. It does not specify whether it's 1.5 liters or 2.0. So I'm gonna just assume it's a lot of them, like all of them. Now, on to the moonroof. It looks like this only affects the 21 Bronco Sports, and it looks like approximately a thousand of these will be recalled if they haven't been already. Um, the moonroof, if you are equipped with a moonroof, there is an adhesive that they use to glue the moonroof on. Now, it's very common for glue to be used on body panels. In fact, that's how a lot of the F-150 body panels, the external body panels are mounted onto the body is that they're glued and riveted on. Now with the moonroof of the Bronco Sport, because it is a unibody construction and not a body on frame, the moonroof is going to be attached with glue and that's it from what I can understand off of this. Now, according to Kelly Blue Book, and again, I will link every single article I have down below in the box, the primer that's used for the adhesive that is used to secure the moonroof may have not had enough time to cure properly. Now, the curing thing is very important because if it doesn't dry enough and it's still tacky, the glue isn't gonna stick and you're gonna have an issue. So it has to be very well cured for the glue to bond and to bite into the primer. That way you get the proper adhesion between the two pieces. So the way a moonroof sits is kind of like your window. You have an indentation and the moonroof sits right in there and then it'll slide back and everything. Well, without improper curing and, and if it's still wet and you have glue on top of that, that's gonna cause it to move, it can come loose and over time, it'll probably leak. You're probably gonna see water stains on your headliner. And there are more extreme cases, the moonroof has actually flown off the vehicle. If you have a moonroof on your Bronco Sport, see if you um, are underneath that recall and just check with your service department on that one. So the 2021 and 2022 Bronco Sports has a recall in regards with and it's only with the 1.5 liter engine. So if you have a 2.0, you can skip this part of the video. But it's the 1.5 liter engine. There's three cylinders that are affected with this. Now, the engine oil separator housing may develop a crack and it could cause an oil leak, which could lead to a fire. That's the recall. So if you have a 1.5 liter, not a Badland. I have a Badland, so mine's excluded in this. So anything below the Badland's trim are going to be affected. So if you have anything below that, you may want to call your dealership and see if your vehicle can be affected. Now, Ford is going to be sending out notifications around April 18th. If you see this video after the 18th, be on the lookout for a letter. If you see this video before the 18th of April, there's a letter coming. <laughs> from Ford in regards to this issue. So to keep your eye out on the mail, um, if you have an oil change that's coming up, just have them run the VIN number. It doesn't take that long. Again, it's through the Oasis system that Ford uses with the manufacturing side of Ford to communicate with the dealerships to see if there's any recall notices on any kind of models that they have. 
and what trim levels are affected. I'm sorry, it just wasn't a good news video. It is a formative video and it is an advisory video. So I advise you guys to either call your dealership or if you have an oil change coming up to go visit your dealership and have them run your VIN number in the Oasis system and see if there's any kind of recalls, okay? So hope you found this video informative and helpful. And if you have any of these issues or if you had a recall notice, please let me know in the comments down below. We do have a giveaway coming up at 3,000 subscribers. Um, subscribers, what the hell is a subscriber? We do have a giveaway coming up at 3,000 subscribers, so make sure that you subscribe. Um, we will do a video explaining the rules and how that's gonna work. And I will also put it on my webpage as well. I'm in the middle of working on that. Um, also make sure that you hit the notification bell and turn the notifications on, that way you don't miss any of our videos. Um, other than that, that's, that's it. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.